as to the day or month of Jesus' birth in Jerusalem. Clement of Alexandria mentions the existence of the feast in Egypt about the year 200. And we have some evidence that it was observed on various dates in scattered areas. On various dates. When you read the writings of the early Christian scholars of the 2nd, 3rd, 4th, 5th centuries, each one speculated on a different date as to when Jesus might have been born. There was no agreed upon date. And it wasn't until after the conversion of Constantine to Christianity that the church in Rome assigned December the 25th as the date for the celebration of the feast. After the time of Constantine. Now, what this is saying, Constantine is in the 4th century. So it wasn't until the 4th century that the 25th of December started being uh, used or as a point of celebration for the birth of Jesus. But even by the end of the 5th century, though it was common in much of the Christian world, the Eastern Church who are represented today by the Armenians observed the birth on the 6th of January and to this day they still celebrate the birthday of Christ on the 6th of January not the 25th of December so the question comes where did the 25th of December come from since nobody knew when it was, where did they get it from in the time of Constantine? What we find, according to the Collier's Encyclopedia, the choice of December 25th was probably influenced by the fact that on this day the Romans celebrated the Mithraic feast of the birth of the sun god. This feast is called Natalis. Solis Invicti, and that the Saturnalia also came at this time. The indications are that the church in this way grasped the opportunity to turn the people away from a purely pagan observance of the winter solstice to a day of adoration of Christ the Lord. Both St. Cyprian and St. John Chrysostom allude to this thought in their writings. The 25th of December was the day on which people who belonged to a cult called Mithraism. The god Mithra is originally a Persian god, who was a one god figure. He was identified with the sun god of Rome, and his worship became popular amongst the Romans, especially the army, the leaders of the army. In fact, Constantine's father was a well-known follower of this cult, the Mithraic cult, which celebrated the birth of God on the 25th of December. And Constantine himself used to follow this prior to his conversion. So what we have here is a circumstance where the cult, which was most popular in Rome at the time, that of worship of this sun god, Mithra, was incorporated into Christianity as a means by which the 
leaders of the church gained support, gained followers. In order to make Christianity attractive, more attractive to the Romans and the Greeks, the 25th of December was chosen. There is also another point which is referred to here, it's called the Saturnalia. Now the Saturnalia, this feast, which used to be held around the 25th of December also. This is a feast in celebration of the god Saturn. Saturn, we know it as a planet now, but that was the name of one of the Roman gods. He was the god of sowing or of seed. And his festival, the Saturnalia, became the most popular of Roman festivals. It was originally ce celebrated between the 17th and the 24th of December, and the 25th being the climax. 24th is the last day, 25th is like the climax. So again, we see between the Mitre cult, the Saturnalia, the worship of the Roman gods, Christianity sought to gain the followers from amongst these two uh, forms of worship, religions which were in existence at the time in Rome, by choosing the 25th of December to attract them. And it's interesting to note that, this is according to the Encyclopedia of Religion and Ethics, the Saturnalia in Rome provided the model for most of the merry customs of Christmas time. This old Roman feast was celebrated on the 17th to 24th of December. The time was one of general joy and mirth. During the festival, schools were closed. No punishment was inflicted. In place of the toga, this is the garment, sort of a white cloth they used to wrap around himself. Uh, in place of this toga, an undressed garment was worn. Distinction distinctions of rank were laid aside, gambling with dice, which at other times were illegal, was permitted and practiced, and all classes of the society exchanged gifts, the most common being clay dolls. These dolls were specially given to children. When we think back at how Christmas, those of us who come from a Christ Christian background, the idea of the toys and that for the children, we see its origin right here in the Saturnalia, the pagan celebration of Saturn, the god Saturn. In Northern Europe, the Teutonic tribes celebrated the winter solstice and had developed many customs and traditions that became part of the feast of Christmas when they were converted to Christianity. So we find the peoples of Northern Europe, as they came into Christianity, they had their own uh, practices, festivals, rituals, which were associated with the winter solstice. Winter solstice meaning the 25th of December is like the peak of winter, the time when the day is the shortest. From 25th onwards, the day starts to increase in length again. So the ancient peoples, they saw it like as the rebirth of the sun. The darkness was receding. So you find in many, many different cultures uh, uh, this practice of celebrating the birth of the sun, the birth of light, etc., you know, being concentrated around the 25th of December. So the Northern European Teutonic tribes, they also had these celebrations, and as I said, they in brought a number of them in with them as they became Christians. In the Middle Ages, the festival became the most popular one of the year, celebrated in church and in home with a blend of pagan usages and Christian devotion. It should be noted, however, 